Hi, my name is Lillian Erickson and this is my skill validation for CVC dressing change for um, IV certification. So, um, I've done all my standard pre-steps for this procedure. I've gathered all my supplies, I've told my patient about the procedure, about what we're going to be doing so that there's no anxiety. I've um, checked the physician's orders and I've checked the date and the time on the dressing to make sure it's due to be changed. Um, so I've done all, I've washed my hands. Um, I've put my side rails down. I have my patient lying back. I've done all my standard pre-steps for this procedure. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at the site here. I'm going to palpate a little bit. Um, I want to be looking to make sure there's no redness, no infiltration, no phlebitis. Um, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mask on my patient and I'm going to have her turn her head away because I don't want my patient breathing on the site. And I would also put a mask on myself. Um, but for the purposes of this procedure I'm not going to put a mask on because I will be talking. Um, so the next thing I will do is I'm going to loosen up the tape on this and I'm just going to go towards the site. So I loosen it up here. Okay. And before I put my gloves on, I'm going to just open up my sterile packages here. Okay, so now I want to make sure I'm not turning my back on either of my sterile sites and when I take the dressing off that will also be my sterile sites. Okay, so I want to look at my dressing. Um, I'm going to assess the type, the amount, the color, and the odor of the drainage, if there is any. Um, I will look at my site now and also again assess for redness or swelling. And then I'm going to just wrap my dressing up, my gloves. Okay, so now I can take and wash my hands and I'm going to take my sterile gloves.
that out of the way. At this point, I would take my core prep, and to activate it, I'd squeeze these away from myself and my patient, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get my patient shirt wet. So, I'm going to take and I'm just going to go around the site using friction. So I've gotten all around my site except for underneath my lumens. So I'm going to contaminate my pinky to lift up and get under there. Alright, so I have my contaminated pinky now, so I need to be careful with that. I'm going to take my 2x2 two two on my site. So at this point, the sterile part is done. All right, so um, the next thing I'll do is I'm going to take my little a label here, and I'm going to put the date and the time in my initials. And I'm going to stick that right on my ticket in. And I write it before I put it on my patient. Alright, so um, now the procedure is done. Now I can do all my standard post steps. I'd wash my hands, I'd put my, the, my patient's bed rails up, make my patient comfortable. Um, make sure they have their call light. And then when I go out of the room, I'm going to do my charting. I'm going to chart the procedure I did. I'm going to chart um, the date and the time and when it's due to be changed next. Um, I'm going to chart when I took the dressing off. I'm going to chart any drainage that was on the dressing. Um, I'm going to chart the site. That's a very important part is anything I noted um, about the site. And that would be the end of my, my procedure.